Let's get a go at this problem. 6x squared minus 13x minus 5. Answering the question, can we factor anything out from the three terms to make our life easier? And the answer is no. And we know that a is not 1, so we know we have to use our special factoring rules. So let's go along. 6 times negative 5, we're going to multiply those outside two numbers. We get negative 30. Two numbers that add to negative 13, but when I multiply them, I get negative 30, are going to be negative 15 and 2. So let's go ahead and write our little rough draft over here that we're going to work on. This is only part of the problem. We get x minus 15 times x plus 2. Now, there's no number, or the number 6 right here, we can't divide this by either one of those numbers and get anything uh, like an, uh, a whole number out of it. So what can we do to 6? Uh, can we break up this into uh, two factors that we could use to finish this problem? And the answer is yes. Um, 6 is equal to 3 times 2. Now that 3 can be divided into 15 easily, and the 2 can be divided into the 2 easily. So that's kind of our approach. That's what we're going to try. So let's divide negative 15 by 3. And when we divide part of this problem, we have to compensate by multiplying it uh, by part by a term in the other factor. Okay? So, um, and then we're going to take this, so we use the 3, and now we're going to take the 2, and we're going to divide it right here. But again, because we're dividing it in this term right here, in this factor right here, pardon me, we are going to multiply the outside of the x by 2. And so we'll get a final answer that looks like 2x, I'm just sort of copying what's up here, minus and 15 divided by 3, this is going to be a 5 and a 1, minus 5. And let's see, we'll get 3x here, and then 2 divided by 2 is just 1. So we should get our final factorization. Again, I always um, want you guys to check what your answers are. Make sure you check your work. So we check it by using FOIL, because FOIL is the opposite of factoring. So 2x times 3x is 6x squared. 2x times 1 is just 2x. Uh, negative 5 times 3 is negative 15x. And we're going to finish there. So this is the best way you know if you're getting, um, you're getting the right factorization, is to always check your answers. So this correlates with my original problem. So we know that this is the correct factorization.